Hello everybody, welcome to our e-learning session for Primary 5. Our se session for today is about Module 4A, The Power of Nature. Now, the natural world, 4A, let's see. All of you get your student book and open page 44 and we will read together. Now, the extraordinary plants. What we got extraordinary? Extraordinary means unusual. Extraordinary means unusual. Now, the, 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 um, there are over 350,000 species of plants on Earth. You can find them living everywhere and they grow in all shapes and sizes. Now, the first example here is the baobab. Baobab is a strange looking tree and they are found in Africa and Australia and mostly for thousands of years. The baobab has an enormous trunk. Now, underline the word enormous and write huge or very big. Now, what is the word trunk? Trunk is the woody stem of a tree. Can you see the picture here? It's very big woody stem. Okay. Which is swollen and full of water. What's the meaning of swollen? Swollen means to get bigger and round, larger and rounder. As you see the picture exactly and full of water it can be seven or eleven meters wide and some can hold up to 120,000 liters of water the tree stores the water so it can survive survive means to complete living to be alive during the difficult dry seasons in Western Australia, during the 1890s, the police used a hollow baobab tree as a prison when taking prisoners to the town of Derby. Now, what we of hollow? Underline the word hollow. Hollow means empty or has a hole in something. Now, in the, ninth, in the 1890s, the police in uh, taking the prisoners from one place to another, to the town of Derby, they put the prisoners in these trunks, in these baobab trunks, as a prison. They act them as a prison. Now, in the second picture, or in, or, or in the second text, the word pitcher plant. Can you see this picture? Pitcher plant is a kind of plants that are very colorful. As you see in the picture here, they are very colorful. They are meat eating. They are carnivorous, eat meat. Plants with a pitcher full of liquid. A pitcher is something like um, a hole or um, a, um, a bowl. A pitcher and it's full of liquid. They are also called monkey cups because sometimes monkeys use them to drink water. Inside, sorry, insects are attracted to the plant's nectar and they slip down. Slip down means they slide to the cup, to the main cup, to the pitch, to the pitcher, and they slip down the side of the pitcher into the sticky liquid. Now the liquid inside this picture is so sticky, so the animal or the insect when it slides down or slips down, it's stuck in, these, in this liquid. There is no way to escape. Escape means to run away or to go away. So they drone and are eaten. Now what meaning of drone? Drone means to... Um, Draw means to, uh, to, to be deep inside in some liquid. For example, from to die by being inside water or liquid uh, when you are um, unable to breathe. Okay. And are eaten. A species in Bron Bronio has a large pitcher that can hold 3.5 liters of liquid. And sometimes even ra rats or lizards get trapped in the... Now, not only insects can slip down this pitcher, also some lizards and some rats can slip down and be eaten, drowned and eaten like that. 
OK. After that, I have the word bamboo. Oh, before finishing this part, the word trapped. Trapped here means to get stuck in something and never be able to escape. The word bamboo or the plant bamboo. Can you see the picture of the bamboo? It's a very long wooden sticks. Let's see. Bamboo grows in many different climates. Now, what is climate? Climate is the weather, general weather in a particular part or a particular um, place. From cold mountains to hot tropical forests, it can grow up to 30 meters tall. Now, their, their tall or their height can, can um, reach 30 meters, and this is very long. But bamboo isn't a tree. It's actually um, the largest member of the grass family. It's a kind of grass, but it's wooden and it's very long. Bamboo is very useful because it's used as building material. Now underline the word building material. In some countries, they use bamboo for building rooms or houses and also food as well as for making furniture. Lots of um, chairs and tables here, even in Egypt, we use the bamboo in doing some furniture. Also we use bamboo for making paper and medicine or even musical instruments. There is a kind of flute from bamboo. Bamboo also holds the record for being the fastest growing plant. Hold the record means it's record that uh, it's the fastest bamboo, uh, the fastest plant that grows. It can grow 90 centimeters in one day. Can you imagine? Just 90 centimeters. It's very long. So if you were walking through a bamboo forest, stop for a while and watch. You will be surprised. Now, let's see together, going back to that. PowerPoint. Here we have in slide number one, we have some new vocabulary. The word branch, in slide number two, sorry. The word branch. Branch is one of the parts of the tree that grows out from the main trunk and that has leaves inside it, coming out from it. Okay, the word climate. Climate is the general weather conditions in a particular place. For example, in America, the climate is cold. In Egypt, the climate is sunny. Now, this, is, this means the general weather is sunny. In slide number four, the word drone. Drone means to die by being underwater and, un and unable to breathe. Number four. Nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid that sunflowers make and that the bees absorb to get you honey. In slide number. In the next slide here, number five, tropical. Tropical means very hot and wet. Tropical rainforests. Extraordinary. Extraordinary is an adjective and it means very unusual or remarkable. Very unusual. In the next slide, we have the word species. A group of living organisms that consists of similar individuals. For example, um, dogs or maybe the wild animals or maybe um, the insects. The word trunk. Trunk is the main woody stem of a tree, as you see in the picture here. The next slide, num the word number nine is hollow. Hollow means a hole or an empty space in something. Hollow. The word trap. Trap as a noun means a device that's used to catch animals, like the rat trap. If you have a rat at home or a mouse at home, you use, you use that trap in order to catch this mouse. But trap as a verb means to catch animals, to chase them and catch them. Okay, the word to get trapped is an expression that means he is stuck 
he can't escape. A person is unable to move or escape from a situation. In the next slide, the word swollen. Swollen is an adjective and it, be, it means to become larger or more round in size. As you see in the picture, maybe my finger is swollen. That means it contains water or contains liquid. It's getting bigger. The word prison. Prison is a place where the criminals or the bad people, the thieves, are legally held as a punishment for their crimes. Prison or jail. The word dry. Dry is the opposite of wet. Dry means it doesn't have water in it. It's dry. The word wet means it's, it has water. Or it's um, like this cat, it's wet. In the next slide, we have some questions to answer. Now, choose the correct word between brackets. My parents like the worm dry of Arizona. The worm dry what? Mix, climate, serious, or grass? Climate, exactly, the weather. Number two is an empty space inside of a tree. What is an empty place? Hollow. Exactly. Number three, the bee turns into honey. Turns what into honey? Flower, nectar, roof, root or trunk? Exactly, it's nectar. Number four, a tree fell in, fr um, in front of the door and the people got, got inside. Got what inside? Trapped or cold or drowned or attracted? Trapped, they are stuck. Number five, birds of rare are in danger. Rare spices, species, space, spoons, species. Number two. Number six, bees feed on the sap, nectar, tea, jacket of the flower. Nectar, thank you. Number seven, my legs are so I can hardly walk are so what blown or hollow or swollen or sad swollen number eight there are lots of leaves on the branches or root or trunk or roof or root sorry again roots okay branches thank you now we have finished our session for today hope that you enjoy it see you soon